Who is this? Frog's Master. Wait a minute, what was that guy named again? Frog's Master. Is this actually the one and only true? Frog's Master? It is I, Frog's Master. Hello everybody, it's Frog's Master, and now... You see this guy. Now I got this, not even like six months ago. Got it at that Target, remember I did the video and everything. Yeah, well, I had one before this, like way, way back in like 2009, maybe, maybe even 2008, actually, it was like, I think it was 2009, most likely, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna go with that, but I didn't get it in the way you'd think, I did not get it online, obviously, or I guess I should say offline, I did not get it at a store like Walgreens, which I'm sure, or not Walgreens, Target, did I say Target back there? I may have, if I did, I meant, uh, wait, did I just, what am I doing? I think I said Walgreens before, and I meant Target, so I was wrong. Target. Got this at Target. I don't know, maybe I did say it right, and I'm just forgetting or something. But that old one, I definitely did not get at Target. Or any store at all. Although, there was one that I saw, like, after my first one and, and before this one. It was at a store just in a shopping plaza called the landing it was the store was like calendars games and toys i think it's just a one a one place in just that one area not i don't think that's a place that's like in other areas it's only there in missouri and i saw one there but i did not get it and i really didn't want to get it actually because that was during the time when i wasn't really collecting animated stuff in like 2015 right that was when i was getting the those posters i think or maybe that was 20 no that was 2015 yeah that's when i was getting the posters and plushies and well i wasn't getting jemmy or any anything else animated so i didn't get this but i had the one before the one that i passed on so you're wondering how I got it. Well, I actually got it from my uncle. Yeah. So, how? Well, there was a time when he was over. And he had two things. He had this exact kind of one it wasn't one of those other versions that no one can find for whatever reason no it was that one in its box very new looking and then he had another item that was in its box that was very new looking and it worked really good like the gizmo that he had and that was the i love to love you baby turtle dancer yeah that turtle dancer, the red one, with the afro, that is really rare. And it had its box, and it worked perfectly. And I actually saw it on. I actually decided to go with this instead of the turtle. And the reason why I think I did is because I had recently... I had recently seen Gremlins for like the first time, and I guess that made me want to get or have this instead of that turtle. So I asked him if I could, and he let me have it. I did not say anything about the turtle, especially once I was able to have that. I didn't want to ask about the turtle too. I thought that having getting the one from him was enough so i had the gizmo 
and I had it probably for one year, and then it got trashed with everything else. So, in the beginning of 2010, and it, it was the beginning of 2009 when I, I would have gotten this from him. Because I think I had seen Gremlins for the first time in the beginning of 2009. Or maybe even, like, 2008? No, I think it was 2009. There's no way that I would have gotten this for the first time before I had seen Gremlins. No way. Because it, it looked very recognizable when I saw my uncle's one. So I had that for a year or so. Like just a year. Definitely under two years. As for that turtle, to this day, I don't know. I doubt he has it. I would say there's about a 90... 7% chance he doesn't. I'm sure that thing went probably a year or so later. I would feel like probably trashed. But I guess you never know for sure. I just don't feel like it's alive anymore. I think it's very dead. But I do feel like it has to be in better condition than the first one of these because that thing, no. Especially since I was messing with that too, since that was in 2009. Of course I was messing with it. Didn't do it in front of my uncle, but when once I got it out of that box, which of course I didn't open the box, my parents did, but... Once that was out of the box, let's just say uh, its head started to change a little bit. And nothing else really moves on it, but I'm pretty sure I messed with the hands and the feet. I think I actually tried to pull parts of them off. And I may have actually done it. I don't really remember. But I definitely messed with the head, and I think I broke the head. So it did not move good. Although the head on this one doesn't move, like, too good. Also, that very old one, it had a lower pitch than this one. This has, like, a high pitch. But that old one, it had the pitch that basically all of them have. Almost all of them have that lower-sounding pitch. Or I guess you could say medium or normal pitch. This is considered to be the higher pitch one, I think. So I got a more rare one because of the pitch. That doesn't really count, but whatever. So about that old one, though, there's more to it than just uh, than just it getting destroyed. There's actually another part to it, too. Before I um, was destroying it and messing with it and going absolutely nuts with it, Messing up the head and whatnot. There was something else with it in me. Now, remember, the only reason I chose this over that turtle dancer, you know, that turtle dancer, the red one, was because I had recently seen Gremlins. But the first time I watched Gremlins, I got very scared by it especially towards the ending, but also especially with the whole rules plot with the Mogwai. So, the box. What do you think the back of this thing's box says? It says the rules, right? Well... Considering I saw that on the back of its box, I thought they were being dead serious. Dead serious. And I was scared of that movie then. I did not like Gremlins in that way. I mean, I liked it, but I didn't like it. So... 
What do you think happened when I saw the back of its box? Well, I wanted to make sure that I followed all those rules. Now, actually, two of the rules were actually very easy. But one, and it's the one that I could never forget back then. And because of all that, it's that one that I remember the easiest now. Which is to not get it wet. You see, I wanted to bring this over to my great-grandparents' house to show them. As I would do with many other of the things I got in 2008 and 2009. Well had it in a bag to keep it all protected and whatnot. And it was out of its box then. This was like right after I'd read the back of that box. Guess what? It started raining. And when that happened, I told my mom, oh, no, no, this isn't good. I mean, I didn't say it like that, but you know, you know, I was not happy. I was scared. Very, very anxious. I was, I was kind of freaking out, I think. But, uh, my mom played along with it. And that really didn't help. But then it was like right then that I realized that uh, it's a toy. And even I knew that back then. And then I figured it out right then. Especially because of how my mom reacted. So it ended up being okay. It like... I really got freaked out and really nervous and really paranoid over what was about to happen with this thing in the rain. And then I realized that I was being crazy. Yep. Well, it ended up going away anyway. Yeah, after it had rained that day, I just... I realized nothing was going to happen. It was all good then. And then I just tortured it. Like everything else. And then it got thrown out in 2010. And then I didn't have one again for a while. I almost got one in 2015. Except not really. And then 2021 comes along. And I see it in Target. And I'm so shocked. And I get it. And now it's here. And I'm following the rules with this one because I don't want anything to happen. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm not just going to get it wet, though. That'll ruin the fur. And maybe something else. I'm just kidding. But what if? Peace.